saw your eyes get really strained, and I should be using, um, I should be using eye drops, which are right here, but I just hate using them. I should like Google like a good trick to to using them like without. So I, I just really don't like the way I'm using them right now. Cause I just, it's just like ah. I just keep them above my eye and it's like, oh wait, is it gonna fall? Is it gonna fall? I never know when it's gonna fall and then boom it falls and it's like, Ugh. my eyes like freaking drowning afterwards. On, you. Let's dance. Huh, let's yeah, Wukong is a really good uh, solo huge jungler. I don't know about the gunners, dude, they never come. Yeah, I did that. Keep my head tilted back, open your eyes, that's what I did. Yeah, I'll try to do it in the corner of my eye next time I do it. Is that a hard matchup for the Lloyds? I think it's hard early, but in late game, like, you counter him really hard with your shields. Oh, oh, if I press D, something cool will happen? Oh my god. Awesome. Honestly, I think Mordecai's really like shits all over his head. If you get a slight advantage. Fucking Triton, dude. Dyer's Triton is playing top lane fiddle. His starting items are four HP pots, four mana pots, and a green ward. Ten out of ten bitches. I t like he should yeah he should make a guide for that top lane teleport fiddle six. And now I'll try and die at level 1. Maybe next time. Oh, and he said you're lagging too in all chat. <laughs> Honestly, if I went exhausted in his lane, like, I would counter him so hard. So also would actually be pretty decent in this lane. I wouldn't be able to die to ganks, and I would like completely shot him down in team fights by double exhausting him. Oh my God. Why do we have fucking Janna, dude? Why did Riot buff Janna? That makes people think she's good. I should have shielded myself. My blue always camps mid lane. Big shine must die. We need to focus pants. Wait, what? Why the fuck did Linda go bot?
I so annoying to get flash ganked like that. Because you have to flash too, so you just trade flashes, that's all. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to buy that. Yeah, I don't know, like, I shouldn't have been able to get ganked by a Pantheon there. It's because I saw um, Window on the map, and I'm pretty sure he pinged Pantheon. So I thought, like, when he pinged Pantheon, I thought it meant, alright, he's ganking mid, I'll counter gank. But it meant, alright, he's mid, don't get ganked. <laughs> so yeah, that's miscommunication with pings, so it was my fault. I should have seen him on the map, like, running bottom. That's my bad. I'm gonna ward out. Joku with Night Blue because he always camps mid and if I have a jungler that camps mid in every solo queue game and I go competitive and my jungler is not camping mid then I'm gonna be a weaker player. You're gonna be a weaker player if your jungler camps mid every game because then you're used to your jungler camping mid and then you're not gonna be winning lands on your own. Oh my god. I need one creep. Four, six. Mundo jungle is so bad. Mundo jungle is like legit fucking shit. <laughs> It's just a really bad pick. Because it doesn't have any pressure. Like, you can see I'm getting shit on because Pantheon is ganking and Windows not. So, oh well. That's fine. I guess he scales, but you might as well just play him top lane. He scales better top lane because you get more items. Pantheon is 6, he might be trying to gank me. Probably is, honestly. Night Blue 2 replaced Auto and after bad Pantheon alts. Ban bad Pantheon alts? Holy shit, dude. I don't have beast Pantheon alts today. I don't know what game you were watching. I just need to farm because we have Bundo Jungle, so I'm not gonna get any ganks. Yeah, I like always playing against Triton, because fucking Triton plays 24-7. <laughs> I think Night Blue's good. He's really good at solo queue. Like, we wouldn't pick up a jungle that we didn't think was decent. Or at least pretty good. Fucking cat is good. Nice. Oh, was that a crit? No, it wasn't.
can't hit as well soon. Why did you guys pick up Mega Zero? Uh, we didn't have a top lane sub, and Mega Zero is a pretty good player. That's proving himself on Lance. And he seems like a guy you can work with. Like, I wouldn't, we wouldn't pick up a guy who seems really bad mannered that wouldn't be able to get into the team quick if we needed him as a sub in a game. And Mega Zero seems like a really likable guy, and he's pretty good. That was really well played by Zed. Holy shit, he played that so well. Who is our mid sub? We don't have a mid sub right now because we can't really find like a fitting one. Like, I don't know. It's hard for me to. I don't know. It's all up to Reggie to pick a mid sub because I really don't know which one. No, oh, Reggie is not the mid sub. He doesn't play as much league anymore. I have to agree with system of a game. Solo queue, junglers, try to snowball themselves. In LCS you try to snowball your team. And you try to play for the team, whereas in solo queue you play for yourself. Yeah, CLG probably got a lot better recently. Windu literally did not gank any lane until now. First fucking gank, dude. And he does. Still up. I can't really go. Their ball in has too much pressure. That's fiddle. They took our ability. Ball in's going to shoot on too hard.
person. Chase him, chase him, chase him. I'm not getting mad at my jungler, I'm just like simply explaining him. Like to him what he could do. I'm not upset. He's just like he's just not making a lot of sense. So Sorry? What do you mean, like my black like Gerson? It's on Reddit. <laughs> Thirty what? Thirty nine? Hi Burton's name, I wanna give it there. So I've had this name for a while before Burton came in, it's really starting to become annoying. Troll, he's like, now I realize why it's stupid to take pro player's name. Should get a blue off this game. Fucking night blend is cheesy baron calls. Super show. Cheesy baron calls are like super OP and solo here. People don't ward baron. Yeah. What do I think of? Jensen, that's incarnation skill. It, could he be a good, as good as Faker? No. Nowhere near Faker's level. He's nearly the level of like other mids in Europe, but he's nowhere near Faker's level. I don't know why he's so hype. Like, I kept playing against him. I played against him a lot of times in mid, and he never like overly impressed me with mechanics other than on Fizz. His Fizz was good. Like, his Fizz is good. And he's a solid player. Like, he's. Good, and he could play in LCS, and he could be a good mid. But Faker, that's let's take it a bit far. Fiddle my ult on there. Baron, Baron, let's go that 
spot on the wave. Ten out of ten. Kills guy, kills funny guy. Oh well, it's pretty good here. Oh, why did my Zarya not work? Oh, I think I was holding all at the same time. Holy fuck, my mouse is really strange right now. Let me check. Where does it stop there? I'm sorry. This is a good fit all. Like, this is super fun. I think Lich Brain is good, yeah. Maybe I should have done it before uh, Zonia's. Zonia's doesn't really do much. Mundo Jungle is so bad. God. Best made for solo key, hands down. Cassadin. Cassadin is broken. After that, I don't know, probably some Snowball like Champion, like LeBlanc, Kha'Zix, Riven. Shit like that. Could have been Yellow Star cosplay. I think Scar is good, yeah. His build was crazy today. It was really, really aggressive. Um, I still couldn't take advantage of it. I'm gonna just get this figure now. Nobody is. That's a pain. This fiddle is so strong. Fiddle just needs fucking one item, dude, because his base damages are crazy. He needs a magic pen. There's a magic pen and one item, and he's strong. I stopped this stun using that. God, I missed that. I had that kill. What? Why would you go for him? him? This guy has a fucking big ass killing spree. Oh my god, he's so fun. If I told you my tier 1 list of mid laners, then I would pretty much be telling other teams what I would be playing in LCS. Cuz. Um. Of course I'm going to be playing what I think is good, otherwise I wouldn't think it's good. Fiddle does not fall off at any point of the game. I would die right after the Zonius. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to wait and then cue me when the Zo Zonius is off. like night blue I do why does everyone think I don't wow oh, that feels so fucking strong dude 
Uh, I'm gonna build rabbit arms, but it's gonna fucking take a while. Oh wow. I missed, but he could have easily killed me. That fiddle over I don't know why I keep reading the Twitch chat right now, I need to focus on the game. The game is just kind of boring, and I feel like we've already lost. We just sit, like, mid lane, just, I just couldn't beat Sad. Like, I beat, I killed him 1v1, but then I got killed by Pantheon a second after. Like, th we just simply did not have any jungle pressure. Like, that's why people don't play Mundo, and that's why people don't play Shivana jungle. Those champions are better off in top lane, because they have zero uh, pressure in lanes. They only have diving potential, but Mundo didn't try to dive mid, even though Zed was pretty volatile a lot. That's fair, like, whatever. People pick shitty jungle champions. Happens. Top lane didn't do so well, bot lane got destroyed, Night Blue ganked it a lot, and they have a good LCS bottom lane. Whereas my bottom lane is like some players in solo queue that are probably like Diamond 1 or Diamond 2 who play against LCS bot lane. That has been playing together for three years, so they get shit on. I don't think uh, Farinwa would be a good sub, but he's an entertainer. He doesn't try to play pro because he knows it's not like... He doesn't play League to go pro, he plays League for fun. That's what he does really well, he's a good entertainer. But he, to be quite frankly, he has like... He plays like three champions. One of them he plays with TP Revive, which does not work in the competitive game. People will punish you and kill your ass in the early game. Force objectives because you're so weak early. He also builds really like early or late game base. Like his early game is completely useless on Karthus because he builds tier. Um, so no. Do you think Nightblue would tax us hard if it came to an LCS match? No, but I don't think he would do that well since he doesn't tax. That's the thing. Like it's easy to say, oh, I'm not gonna tax, but it's. What are you gonna do when you you're used to getting a shit ton of farm from taxing, and then all of a sudden you don't tax anything, and you have to give your team buffs? It's what you do. the The reason jungle is such a hard role in competitive play is you have to do so much with so little. Like think of like all the junglers who like don't get blue buffs, like they nearly get any fucking lane tax, and they still have to make ganks, they still have to be tanks in team fights, they still have to do all this stuff with getting like literally nothing. And that's what I think a lot of solo queue junglers can't do. And that's why people like can't compare like junglers, like supported junglers, like auto one to junglers like I don't know, like solo queue junglers who tax a lot. Because there's such a big difference. Like playing solo queue and playing competitive in the jungle is like a completely different game. Zed is pretty fit at this point. That TP fucking fear on fiddle. All of their team play well. Meteos doesn't take any everything anymore. It worked last season because of the jungle was way different and mid laners didn't know how to pressure as much when mid lane didn't get blue but now he doesn't do it anymore. He even says himself it doesn't work anymore. The solo queue play style doesn't work anymore in competitive play. If you watch C9's games now he doesn't he doesn't tax anymore like nearly as much. He only tax if it's gonna benefit his team.
Why does this matter? Why do you care?